Section 1.3, consumer loans. Now, again, this section might be a little bit depressing. Um, we're going to get through it together. That's the important thing. Let's start. Preamble, as it says there, we move away from single deposits or payments and we go into multiple deposits or payments. So the first two sections, simple interest and compound interest, are only one deposit, one payment meaning you put the lump sum there and you come back later. Um, that's it. Now in the remaining sections, there is going to be multiple deposits and multiple payments. Uh, so paying off a car, you pay off every month until the car is paid off, same with the house. Saving for retirement, you put money away every month uh, while you are working and then you take money out while you are retired, uh, things like that. However, here is the big deal. In the remaining formulas is going to be the word compounded, but that does not mean compound interest. You first have to think about, am I doing this once or more than once? If you are doing it once, you're in sections one, one, and one, two. If you are doing it more than once, you are in the remaining sections. So please keep that in mind. Again, at the end of 1.5, before 1.6, there's going to be a video that goes through all of the finance formulas. So please watch that thing. And if you have questions, please ask. Um, and as it says there, you don't have to memorize the formulas, just worry about how to use them. Now, our first formula for this section is fantastic. It tells you how much money you have left over after partially paying on the loan. Uh, and this is what happened not too long ago uh, where the uh, housing market crashed. You may have heard about it. And everyone's home values decreased. Also did their uh, interest rates. So a lot of people were refinancing so they would need this formula to figure out if they were to refinance and go with a different bank, how much more they would have to pay off. So that's the purpose of this formula. Okay. Uh, I need you to think about a happy thought. You'll see why. Here comes the formula. Where's my cursor? Boop! Boop! I said boop. Oh, I didn't put a transition in. That's why it wasn't pretty. All right, it's called amount owed on a loan. Consider a loan of $8 with equal payments of PMT dollars paid at the end of each payment period for the life of the loan. That means that uh, your ending balance will be zero. Uh, and the loan has an annual interest rate, lowercase r, compounded n times per year for t years. Now, uh, I need to make a statement here, and I think this is a, another slide in a second. This t in this formula is the number of years you've been paying for the loan. Uh, so, sorry if that's a little confusing there, but again, for this specific formula and this formula only, the T is how long you've been paying for the loan. And the amount owed on the loan is given by, bam! Well, as it turns out, that first part there is compound interest. And the second part later on will get a name and that's gonna be future value of an annuity. Uh, but that's the formula. It's horrible. It's one of the uglier formulas we will have in the entire class. Uh, there's another one that's just as amazing. Uh, so if you need to, uh, feel free to panic and uh, freak out. Completely up to you. And I think our last slide here before we get to an example again is just remember that for this formula only, the T is how long you've been paying, not the entire length of the loan. Meaning, if it's a 30-year loan and you've paid for 18 years, then in the formula, you put in the 18. Uh, the 30 would be important to figure out the um, mortgage payment itself, which was amortization that we talked about previously. No, wait, did we talk about that? As he looks, as he looks. Nope, that's something we come up with. And I totally should edit all that out, but I'm lazy, so what are you going to do? So now you're going to watch the formula or the video, Amount Owed on a Loan. Good news, we're going to see this formula a couple times, so you're going to get really, really used to it. All right, go do it.